What we don't know yet is if there's any difference in the severity of disease, uh, the age distribution of cases, um, or most importantly, um, whether there's any immune escape. So whether this virus is able to escape immunity that's induced by either prior infection, um, treatments with convalescent plasma monoclonal antibodies or vaccines. Obviously that's a crucial piece of work that's ongoing at the moment, but at the moment we don't have any information on that. Where we're confident is that it is spreading faster than other virus variants. At the moment, the underlying mechanism is not fully clear. Um, it could be because the um, virus um, replicates faster, and so you get higher viral loads, which means you're more infectious. It could be that it replicates faster. Uh, it could be that um, actually it takes, there's a shorter time between infection and illness or, in, or, or being exposed and being infectious. <clears throat> if that time frame shortens, then you get quicker transmission. Um, or it could be that the, the duration of infectiousness is longer. So there's a number of potential biological explanations, which we don't know which they are, but they would all lead to the same picture, which is a faster spread of the spines. It could be that the, the efficacy of, of the whole response was reduced, but it would be highly unlikely that the entire uh, with, with this particular set of mutations, the entire vaccine uh, response was, was useless. It... For previous uh, strains of this virus, we know that children were less likely to get infected and certainly much less likely to get symptoms um, than adults, um, which is unusual for a respiratory virus in the sense that most respiratory viruses transmit most efficiently in children. So one possibility is this virus has changed in some way, which doesn't particularly target children, just makes children more like adults a little bit, either in terms of symptoms or viral replication or transmission or both. Um, but we have, again, this is very early days, we have very little direct biological, never mind experimental evidence that that's the case. At the moment, we have an observation that there is a slight shift in the age distribution, which would be consistent with any of those hypotheses. But I would emphasize, Whilst it is a significant shift, it's not a huge shift, it's, it's relatively small.